Hi, this is Lee Garrett and welcome to another weekly tip video. I've had lots of requests for more Alfred coverage as well as some more workflows with applications that I use day to day. So in this tip, we're going to look at a feature in Alfred that I use so many times a day, I couldn't even begin to count. And that's the clipboard manager. Yes, there are dedicated clipboard manager tools out there that you can buy for Mac OS. However, if you're a PowerPack subscriber with Alfred, as I am, then the clipboard management is more than enough for me to do what I need day to day. The default shortcut for the clipboard viewer is ingrained into my brain, and I've also put a dedicated button on my Logitech mouse and my Stream Deck. So as long as you have at least this option checked here, you can work in an application like Numbers, copy some text here from the cells with Command and C, and they're going to stack up in your Alfred clipboard. Then when you need to paste them, so here in this email explaining some disappointing financial results, I can simply use my shortcut to open the clipboard viewer, then the arrow keys to select the one I want. And there it is. But I'll bring the viewer up again, come down to February here. Then finally, I'll key in the shortcut on the right. So command and four. Very quick and easy way to get historic clipboard information. And I'm going to have the last seven days worth of plain text that I've copied here in the clipboard. Now, if I want to carry that out on multiple cells, that's fine. It's exactly the same process. And I do this a lot every single day. So that's all three months there. Now I'll switch to mail. And just like before, I can use the clipboard viewer to slowly paste those in. Now, as well as the basic copy and paste functionality that we've seen there, I'm also going to show you in this video how merging clipboard items works. So just like in that previous example, I can copy January here as normal. But when I copy the next month, February, I'm going to double tap on the C button. And then I'm going to double tap the C button here for August as well. Then depending on how I've got it set up over here in mail, the paste is either going to be separated with a space. Or if I'm copying multiple values that may look a little bit strange if they're all pasted one after the other in a long line, I can simply paste them on individual lines, which looks a lot better in this instance. So let's switch across to Alfred preferences now to see how all of this can be set up. Okay, we're in the preferences for Alfred here. It's easily accessible from the Alfred searcher itself. Just search for preferences. And here in clipboard history, we can start configuring. So let's start with history first. I should point out that access to the macOS clipboard is denied at first. So when you first open Alfred, it's going to guide you through granting the accessibility rights needed, which I've already done here, hence having these options available. So you need to check keep plain text. Then here in this drop down, you can determine how long to keep it for. Now you're not restricted to keeping just plain text on your clipboard. We can keep images as well. Now this I do have set a little bit smaller, so only 24 hours, just in case I find myself clipping quite a lot and I don't want it bloating. Anyhow, let's take a look. I'm going to switch across to a pages document that I have open. And this is the most recent copy of the members magazine as I record this. And if I come down to Don's article there, I'll click on the image and command C to copy. Now let's go to mine. I'll copy my image there. Then just one more. The next one is Mike. Let's copy him. OK, I'm going to paste these into another document. So if I want to open another document, then what better tool than Alfred to do that? I'll invoke it. Type open, then type in some of the file name. It's a nice blank page here for me to start pasting into. So I'll bring up my clipboard viewer. The images are there, so I'll select one. Then let's come down. Go to the clipboard viewer again, and I'll paste in this one here. 